Hello everyone, Jay here. So let's get straight into the topic, right? So today's particular topic has to do with transgenderism. Okay. So I think that you know it's quite and it interests me quite a lot actually because I think that it is one of the greater attacks of the enemy on our society. It is one of the great uh, problems that are being <clears throat> slightly and gradually introduced, you know, as our society becomes more and more pagan, more and more pagan views are now introduced, more and more satanic views are now introduced and rebranded really, you know, and made to look like something new when it is actually an age old attack of the enemy. Now this, uh, this particular thing here, it, it, it distresses me greatly because it is, one, it is an attack on women. Secondly, it is also an attack on family. You know, it is also an attack on the things of God. It is also an attack on really anything useful, anything good. Because the enemy seeks to bring destruction. Seeks to bring destruction. And there is this, it's this, look, there's this attack, right? Satan hates women especially, okay? He hates everybody, he hates men too, but he hates women especially, right? Jesus is from a woman and the Holy Spirit, okay? And the Bible also states it that, and I will put enmity between your seed and her seed, you know, and she shall crush your head and you shall bruise her foot, you know? So there is this particular enmity. Of course, there's a power that we as women, when we recognize that and stop letting the stupid world dictate what you think you can or cannot do, when you recognize that there's a power that you can exercise, of course, and as a child of God, of course, you know. So, but if you don't, the enemy will keep on, you know, bringing this, all this foolish madness. But I thank the Lord that there are some people, there are many people actually, because the enemy cannot succeed. He can only attempt that. It is if we blind our eyes, it, it is if we choose to be stupid, it is if we allow the enemy make us dumb and therefore unable to critically think about certain things. That is when there is a possibility of, you know, things getting out of hand. But they have introduced this madness called transgenderism, this demonic, this demented, this satanic thing. And most of these people, I bet it with you, I'm saying this categorically right now. By the grace of God, I'm going to go places and I'm going to be all, all over the world, right? I'm saying this right now. I never intend on bringing this, this video down. Any person that claims that they are transgender, any person, okay? Meet someone who is a true man of God, a true woman of God. Get delivered. If you don't manifest, if you don't manifest a demon, whatever my bank account is, okay, I will give you 10% of it. If you do not manifest, I want it tape. I want it. If you don't manifest, whatever it is, if you do not exude a demon, if a demon is actually not cast out of you, 10% of my bank account, I will give it to you. Because I'm certain you will manifest. I'm certain. I'm, I'm certain that you're possessed. I'm certain there's a mental illness. I'm certain of it. But because we do not understand the spiritual, we think that that is some, some thing. I, I'm stating it categorically right now. And this stands literally forever. Now, I thank the Lord that there are some people that recognize this madness and of course, that it is madness. Many people that recognize that it is madness. And they are fighting back against it, right? So we're going to be looking at two videos today that point out just how much the enemy is really using all forms, media, mainstream media, government, school system, even your healthcare system, to infiltrate negative ideologies, satanic ideologies, and make you think that that is something worthwhile. While also possessing people and manipulating their emotions and their beliefs and all sorts of things. 
Now, let's get to this video. This video, right? This is the first, and this this thing happening here is a bit of a paradox, actually, also. Because for this era, for this era that we have, it is also, if you look at the flip side of it, it is one of the most liberated eras for women, right? You know, women are, you know, have more freedom than literally ever. Because before Jesus, you know, the enemy will always try to oppress and use the people that should be defending the women to oppress the women, you know? So, like, but the... But after Jesus, and when the men knew their actual role as men and as to be good leaders, you know, then there was, a, you know, there was improvement. Then there were better, you know, there was better behavior, you know. So now fast forward to this time, although people are now being dragged back into the demonic, but if you look at the political and the, and the, you know, the sphere of the world, you know, there are more liberties for women. Women are doing, you know, great, you know, more women millionaires, more women billionaires, more women governors, what more women, you know, um, taking great sports in political spheres and all that. So, like, that's a good thing, right? But you know, the the point, I mean, it's it's like it's like two extreme sides of a coin. Because while you have that happening, you know, you still have this enemy bastard here who is also who is still looking for a way to to basically to try to erase women. Because that's what Satan is trying to do. That's literally, that's what he's trying to do. He can never achieve that. May the Lord punish him forever, you know. But that is his attempt, you know. And you have different, you know, because God uses people, Satan uses people too. You need to get that, you know. So there is this, this, this pulling here. So you have this video because the Democrats now, I've, I've mentioned this before. This problem is from America to the rest of the world, okay? Using the American system, and I'm starting to think that maybe the Chinese have something to do with that also, but majorly when it comes to media and some other things, using the American system to globalize the world and to infiltrate demonic and evil agendas and to introduce that through government, to introduce that through media, to introduce that through their healthcare system, even what you consume, even what you eat, they want to ensure that it's bad for you, okay? Even what you eat, talk less of what you listen to, talk less of what you hear, okay? Now, this this uh, video here, this, this is the first uh, female uh, woman governor of Arkansas, you know? So her name is Huckabee Sanders, okay? Very happy to note that there is a you know woman governor in Arkansas, you know. So, but she was, she signed in this bill, right? Now let's look at what the bill has. You know, let's look at the point of the bill, so you can get the enemy's work here. Because the Democrat, the, these these death cult, Candace Owens says that her husband calls the Democrats a death cult, and that is what they are, and that is exactly what they are. You know, and they, you know, they introduce, they say, oh, if, if somebody is demented and is mentally ill and is actually a man, but he thinks that he's a woman, you must address that person and you must accept their mental illness and you must accept that they are actually a woman and you must treat them like a woman and you can even let them replace women where only women are supposed to be. For example, in sports, taking, you know, com men now competing against women because their mental illnesses, their sickness is being, is being promoted instead of handled, instead of treated. Because ultimately, Satan is the one pushing that. Whether you get that or not, it doesn't change anything. It just makes you more susceptible to the problem. It only makes you more susceptible to the problem. Now, they say transgender people, so-called, because you can never actually change genders, no matter how many surgeries you do, or no matter how many things you, no matter how sick you become, because there are some men that think that they are women, and there are some women that think that they are men too, 
you know, no matter how sick, no matter how demon possessed you are, no matter how, you know, deluded and confused and utterly misled and deluded that you are, it doesn't change the fact that you will never change genders. God made you. God decided what gender you would be. Female, male, he picked that and you can never, ever change that. No matter how much you would wish to do so. For whatever mad reason that may be. Most likely being demon possessed. Okay. Now. Now they say you can even, I mean, before I even get to the video. Now they say you can take the, what do you call it? That a, a man, and, and one thing I don't like is when we try to sectionalize problems. Okay. Now they said, okay, that some, for example, this, this uh, example of, uh, um, uh, maybe Leah, Leah, Riley, something, you know, Riley Gaines, you know, Riley Gaines, who is an Olympic swimmer, you know, awesome swimmer, best female swimmer. Okay. Now, because there is this idiotic man who will never ever be a woman, even if he should change completely his physical appearance, who now says he's a woman who was also a swimmer. He now is now calling himself Leah. I don't know what his actual name is. One, you know, demon possessed thing there now says he's a woman. And now they allowed him onto the woman's team. And now in the men's category, because of course there are physical differences between men and women in the men's category, it was 450 something. Okay. But, but Riley Gaines is number one, right? Now, he now said he's a woman, and because Satan works through the, 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 these idiots that think that they are wise, they now allowed him to compete in the women's team. Can you imagine? And even with that, he still could not even beat Riley. Even with that, they still tied. Imagine that. <laughs> You know, you're so weak. You're so completely, I mean, men are 70% muscle mass. Women are 30% muscle mass. There is no, that's why they have a difference in sports because you're never supposed to compete with each other because the difference is obvious. Okay. And anybody with a brain knows that. Now, they allowed this confused person to compete in the in the competition now they tied okay nobody they now they tied but when they were taking the photographs okay do you know that they actually said that the so called leah the man who is who thinks is a woman will be the one to take the trophy to hold the trophy instead of a uh, riley instead of riley gain okay that she, that, that stupid, the, 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 you know, the man would be the one to hold the trophy instead of Riley. Imagine that they said for photo purposes, because they are intentionally promoting it because it is a satanic agenda. And you need to get that because they are intentionally promoting it. They said for photo purposes, Leah has to hold the so-called Leah. I think his name is maybe I, I can't remember his actual name, you know, so that he has to be the one to take the photograph, to hold the trophy. It's ridiculous being... You have to understand that Satan is at work. People are demon-possessed. People are going insane. People are freaking crazy. And if you are not aware of it, before you know it, you will think that that is normal. They will think that that is normal because they will introduce it to you as normal. They will make you think it's normal. They will say, what's the big deal? What's this and that and that? And they will use their ridiculous, stupid, shallow analogies to make you think that that's, that's appropriate. It's ridiculous. Now, this woman governor, Huckabee Sanders, she's signing this bill, right? So I want you to listen to what she said. We got a whole crew. Get 
good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us. It's great to stand up here with some of the most influential and amazing women from across our state. We are all here to say, frankly, that we've had enough. Enough trying to erase women and girls. Did you hear what she said? To frankly say that we've had enough, right? Because the left, the death cult that is the left, you know, keeps on pushing their idiotic analogies. That is the Democrats, actually. The Democrats are the left, or, you know. So they keep on pushing their madness, their sickness, their satanic views, and presenting that as normal. May the Lord punish them for that, and he will, actually, you know. I just take some time, but he, he certainly will. Now, let's continue. Enough denying our biological differences for men and enough of the craziness that is taking over our country. I've had the honor of being both the first woman and the first mother to serve as the governor of Arkansas. Before that, I was the first mother and the only the third woman to serve as the White House press secretary. Because of that, I came into this role with a few pretty unique experiences. Among them is giving birth to three amazing kids. That experience underscored to me that a woman's perspective is important and fundamentally different from a man's. Nowadays, though, only conservatives see- Now, right, this is very important here, okay, because we're going to be analyzing what she said, actually. You know, this, uh, you know, after she had her children and everything, it became clearer to her, right? You know, the differences and why both needs need to be catered to, you know, that's why even the Bible says, honor your wife, like honor your mother, honor really even, uh, uh, what do you call it? And that's why Paul says, handle your wife with understanding as with the weaker vessel, not as the weaker person, the weaker vessel physically alone, okay? So, so you must understand that physically, God has given us differences, and even emotionally, um, uh, what do you call it, mentally as well. You know, women process things faster. Women are, you know, because because of the, you know, the childbearing capabilities. Now, the of course, men have their, um, of course, men think deeper though, you know. But, anyways, God has made us to be. The same, but kind of different, but perfection went together, you know. So the, I mean, this evil that the enemy seeks to bring. Now, and this is very important what she just said, because it took certain experiences. Now it doesn't have, you don't have to take, I mean, it does not have to take you certain experiences to know that, of course, this thing is demonic and will only, will only cause problems, you know. The... But there are some people that have been so brainwashed, and we'll show that in another video. But even there are some young men that have been brainwashed. There are some young women also that have been brainwashed. That this is actually okay. Do you understand that? There are some people that have actually been so brainwashed by the media that they actually believe that this is okay. Do you understand that? So if you think that your mindset cannot be infiltrated, I mean, just look at society. Obviously, some things can be introduced that are not profitable. Now, so before you applaud something that you do not understand at all because it has been introduced to you as inclusion and social justice, I know love is love and all that garbage, because it has been packaged in an attractive manner before you blindly imbibe that. Maybe you should think about the actual pros and cons of it. Maybe you should analyze certain things. Now, let us continue. To be making that point. On the left, women have taken a back seat to political correctness. It's why Senator Irving and Representative Barker had. She literally said, 
women have taken a backseat to political correctness because it's also something that they try to do to the psyche of a woman, especially through their media, that oh okay, you don't need to you don't need to speak up, you should hold back. Actually, even trying to make you believe that you are less than because like I've told you, it is a satanic agenda in different ways, in different formats. In multiple ways, you need to understand this. Now, like you should hold back, like you, like your opinion doesn't matter. May the Lord punish them for that. You know, I can't wait till judgment day, really. You know. Because it is satanic and they are evil. And Satan only seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. He's the father of all lies. Is the maker of all lies, really. Because in God, there is no lie. Now, she said, I've taken a back seat to political correctness. Okay? Because that is literally how they have introduced this. As a politically correct thing to accept that a person can be transgender. To accept that you can... Because of your delusion and your mental illness, you can change a gender that you cannot actually ever change. Then that is politically correct. That is what they want you to believe. That is what they are constantly pushing. That's what they are using their mainstream media to push to you. Now, let us continue to pass the Fairness in Women's Sports Act to defend our girls across the state. They're using nonsense words to erase women and girls, and more importantly, to erase our voices and our experiences. Today, we're taking a stand against woke nonsense. They're using more and more nonsense words, you know, because they're always, look, you have to understand it's satanic at the root. You must understand, it may be presented as political, it may be presented as entertainment. It may be presented as the new thing in healthcare. So for that is for some things. But at its root, it is satanic. You must understand that. What frankly started as a fad among a few grad students has seeped down into corporations, the healthcare industry, and increasingly state government. It's demeaning to women and it needs to stop. In a moment, I'll sign an executive order banning a number of all sorts of ridiculous words from state government documents. Those now, this uh, generation, because I mean, there is literally an agenda to make each generation dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber until you literally accept anything that is told to you. Until, I mean, until you have no critical thinking process at all whatsoever. Until your mind is so completely fed with so-called entertainment, garbage entertainment, That you just you accept anything the government tells you, anything that is pushed in the news, anything that the movie suggests, that the song suggests, you just you take it. I mean, no thinking, no understanding of good and evil. Now, this generation. They think they like to be woke. They want to be woke. <laughs> I mean, and one thing I've noticed with these words that they use, right, through the media, through everything, what they push is actually the opposite, you know. It's actually the opposite. You know, they try to, for example, they say something, if you say something, it's bad, you know. You have me, like, a, let's say a song says something, is bad. That's actually suggesting that it's good. You know, when they say good, bad guy, you know, being bad, like suggesting it like it's a good thing. Several other examples right now, but I'm not getting into that, you know. 
but this one, uh, this particular one, they say you are woke, right? Woke, quote unquote, because you accept their so-called social justice that is not actually justice in any way claims. And you accept their so-called political garbage and you take whatever the left tells you because they make you feel good while they say it. So you, you think it's all right. And you want to be woke, but you're actually dead asleep. You're actually asleep. You're so freaking asleep that you're drooling. You're literally drooling. That's how asleep you are. And they and they tell you to call yourself woke. <laughs> you <you're, laughs> my god. It's ridiculous. Now she's signing this. Uh, I want you to be able to read it. She's signing. Okay, look, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders signs executive order banning woke quote unquote woke words from state government. Okay, because they're literally trying to introduce it on a regional level, on a governmental level. Because look, let me make something clear before I continue this. If you read the Bible, okay, when God tells Elijah, you know, uh, Isaiah, sorry, that look at the look at the evil that these people do. Look at how they sacrifice to the you know false gods look at how they promote evil look at how they devise mischief by law when it was shown who they were actually talking about that was promoting evil things it was their leaders it was their leaders it was the people at the top that were doing that globally it was their leaders that were sacrificing to Satan. It was their leaders that were promoting evil. Because, I mean, the enemy knows, right? Satan has to copy God, right? So, you know, like, if you have the leader, everybody else will, will far more easily follow than if you don't have the leader. Now, thank the Lord for this uh, governor here and the other ones too that have some sense. Because there are a lot of people speaking up against it, of course, because it is evil, you know. It is evil. It's only someone who is demented, who is who is sick, who, who Satan has taken over that will think that that is, that is proper. Now, and there's also a reason why they try to make the word sick seem good. Because if you listen, if you watch their movies, they say something is sick, they're actually trying to suggest it's a scenario that it could be interpreted that is good because they actually want to make it a suggestion. So if you hear the word sick and in somehow in your mind that suggests something as if it's good, then that is media influence. Okay? To be sick means to be sick, to be utterly disgusting and evil. To be really beyond human comprehension with your disgusting behavior. I mean, this is so annoying. But anyways, she's signing this bill, right? So let's continue. Include words like pregnant people, laboring person, birth giver. Right. You know, they're always, they're constantly trying to remove the word woman from the from their vocabulary. They'll say pregnant people. First of all, only women can get pregnant. You dumb, idiotic, satanic. I, I mean, I, look, it is so annoying. I, I mean, do not be, <laughs> I know you are not part of it. You know, you're just, you're being what I'm saying, but it is so annoying, right? You know, they say pregnant people, they say laboring persons, they even try to say women ex. Anything to try to remove the word woman. Well, guess what, Satan? You can never do that. You will never succeed. May Lord punish you forever. You know, and all that work for you. You know, yeah, I mean, I can't wait till judgment day, really. I mean, it'll be so awesome. And several other nonsense terms that have cropped up in recent years. Some on the left will accuse us of being nitpicky, that Arkansas should just lay down and accept the cultural revolution without complaint. I say it's the exact opposite. Right, exactly. 
because they're actually trying to introduce this like oh no if you don't like them you are a bigot you are this you are that you know actually making it seem like they are the victims here like they are the ones who are you know trying to be uh you know that they are that they are the ones being attacked like they are the ones you know trying to uh that they are trying to silence like they are the ones who are actually being affected by this i mean and it is madness because the enemy tries to portray good as evil and evil as good and okay back to what i wanted to say before actually i do not like it when people sectionalize things okay especially i mean it's even more dangerous for a woman to do that a man can be stupid enough to do that because he might think that okay not stupid but him some men of course a lot of men know that it is garbage that they are doing you know but some people might not really relate to it too much because you know some people they are not empathetic so people something needs to happen to them before they realize that it's bad but of course if you're an empathetic person if you're a reasonable person it does not need to affect you before you know that it, it is bad it does not need to happen to you before you know that it's bad now this is even more dangerous for women to do that right i was i listened to somebody and she was saying the women in sports because right now it's sports that is being uh, promoted so it is not the the women in sports i mean it is not a woman in sports problem it is a woman's problem okay it is not a woman in sports attack it is a woman's attack okay it's not a woman in sports you know evil agenda against they're not just plotting against women in sports they're plotting against women okay so you cannot do not sectionalize that like oh it's only sport no this is Satan. And it might start like, you know, in sports because they might have even chosen that intentionally because it's a very small number of women that are in sports. You know, so it might seem like, oh, maybe, you know, it's just a tiny thing. But it is not. This is the enemy and you need to wake up and stand up and speak up. Because if not, they will try to tell you that they are, well, it's no big deal. It's nothing. I mean, you know, it should be allowed. It's not that. I mean, they will say anything to promote their evil agenda. Do you understand that? And of course, as a man also, you should definitely speak up. I mean, I don't even need to say that. Those that are smart, they're already speaking up. Those that know, anyway, those that are aware of the problem, they're, they're speaking up. It's the left that decided that woman is a dirty word. Now, it's the okay, left. I love I love this thing she just said right now. She said it's the left that decided that woman is a dirty word. It's the left. But it's not actually the left that decided that. It is Satan that decided that. But it's working through the left. It's working through the Democrats. Okay? It's not actually the left. Of course, that's been presented as the left because they're a death cult, really. Everything they do really promotes division, promotes death, promotes something evil. Everything. Look at all their policies. Look at what they look at. They want madness to reign. They want madness to reign. I mean, so it is. It it is. It is posed as the left, but it is that it is Satan. May the Lord punish him forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. that decided we needed to toss out basic biology and basic grammar along with it. I think they're just mad that conservatives are starting to fight back and they better get ready because we're just getting started. Thank you for being here and thank you. Right, you know, she said they decided to toss out basic biology. I mean, I love the way she ended the speech right now. You know, they decided to toss out basic biology and, you know, the different, uh, you know, differences and everything. Well, they better be ready, right? Because we, I mean, because we are just getting started. They better be ready if they think that those policies are going to oh, hold. They better be ready. In fact, there are some states that are already even signing laws against that, actually. The devil doesn't have everybody. Thank the Lord Almighty, you know. So, the, you know, they, they better be ready, right? If they think that this is going to be accepted. Or if they think that they will be able to infiltrate their satanic, disgusting, evil mental illness deluded sick psychopathic behavior into society you better be ready for a fight you better be ready for a fight
you to the amazing women that are standing up here with me. I'll sign this executive order. We'll hear a few words from Dr. Chandler, and I'll be happy to take a few questions. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Kelly. Achieving various things, you know, perfect, wonderful, you know, several women too in several other continents doing great things. One bastard demon now thinks that he can use the enemy, I mean, infiltrate people and, and work as the enemy against our lives. May the Lord punish him forever. You know. Hey Chandler, I'm pleased to be Arkansas Surgeon General, and I'm a practicing obstetrician gynecologist here in Little Rock. I've been serving women of all ages since 1997, but the governor's executive order doesn't require a medical degree to understand. It's just common sense. As I was taught in medical school, and actually have known since I was five years old when I happened to be looking through my mother's nursing school textbooks and ran into some embryology textbooks, women... Well, actually, you know... Uh we are, you know, they're wrapping it up, you know, okay. I might just forward it a bit to where she was actually signing it, you know, but then we're going to get to the other video because she has given her speech, right? And give. As I just said, we've seen uh, specific instances at the health department and several others. Something that is just What is right? No, monitor through an example. When we You know, so they're removing that from the state of Arkansas. Awesome, you know. I mean, they're ready, ready for a fight. So now this second video, which is why, look, must be careful what you hear. Must be careful. Look, even the Bible says it. Like, take heed what you hear. I mean, it is very important. That is why you cannot just feed your mind with all that garbage entertainment that they want to fill your brain with. This housewife and that housewife and that big brother garbage, absolutely idiotic nonsense that they portray to you. And all the ridiculous movies and all the ridiculous songs. Idiotic things, morally and intellectually bankrupt things. And I tell you that that is what you should fill your entire day with. I mean, it's ridiculous. Now, the same way that they were able to infiltrate the minds of these people up to the point where some people now think that this is okay, up to the point where some people protest for this, is the same way that they are seeking to infiltrate your minds as well. In the exact same way, because it's been working for them. You stop using something that works. I mean, I'm not glorifying the enemy at all, because Satan copies God. But will you stop using something that works? It's the exact same way that they've been able to delude these people up to the point where some of them think, and sometimes it's actually a social contagion. Do you know that in the in the nineties or so, I think maybe uh, maybe sixties or so, uh, less than zero point zero one percent of Americans identified as anything LGBT, anything. Now, fast forward to Gen Z, over twenty percent of them do. I think for for the Gen Z generation, over twenty percent of them. It's a social contagion, and it's also a satanic contagion. You know, but many people do not understand that part. You know. So you will also be coerced, you know, just like they have for different other things. But well, we're talking about this in particular. You'll also be coerced into thinking that maybe it's not such a big deal when it comes to the LGBT, lesbian, gay, transgender, binary, all that garbage. You'll also be, I mean, lured, just like they have been lured into thinking that, oh, maybe it's not such a big deal. So you defy God, you defy your maker, and then you go to hell. Because that is the point of everything at the end of the day. 
to make you miserable here and then to ensure that you go to hell. That's the point of everything they're doing. Everything. Everything. Now, let us look at this video here. Okay. Now, this video here is for this, uh, is about this man who, you know, I just started hearing about him recently, actually, you know, but he's been doing some really good work. And uh, I think he's a very, he's a very pro-Israel person, you know, and of, he also talks about the transgender movement, you know. So he goes to these, uh, his name is Charlie Kirk, you know, he, I think he's a very popular person in the States, actually, you know. So, but he goes to schools, universities, you know, to, to give talks sometimes. And then it was one of these students, one of these idiot students who is part of an increasingly dumb generation, okay, now asks him a few questions, right? Now, these are the set of people, him, that boy, and his generation that have been so brainwashed, so deluded, so misled, so confused, so misguided, that they believe, okay, that people can change genders. They believe that God made you as a woman, but then you can be a man. God made you as a man, but then you can be a woman. They have been so deluded because they've watched some movies that have suggested that because their government has said, well, maybe it's not such a big deal because their healthcare is promoting it day and night so that they can make you permanent subscribers and take all your money as well, of course, because their goal is to monetize and traumatize, to monetize and traumatize. That is their goal. Now, the so we're, we're we're going to look at this this uh, this video here, and and you know it was Kanye West that said that actually that their goal is to monetize and and tra uh, traumatize, you know, because the simple fact is, for example, if I let's let's just look at the example of Kanye West, so you can see how the media is being used to manipulate people. Now, before he turned his life to Christ. They freaking love this man, right? Everything he did was perfect. Everything he did was awesome. Okay? Right. The moment he became a Christian, the moment he started speaking out against what they wanted, now he's crazy. Now he doesn't know what he's saying. Now he needs to be this. Now he needs to be that. Now he's no longer, you know, to be to be followed. Somebody that they used to pray, somebody that they would roll out, they might even bow down to him sometimes. Now he's crazy, right? Because he's, he's telling the truth. Because he's exposing their works. He's exposing how things are in, all, in Hollywood. He's exposing, you know, the different ways that they manipulate you into thinking the wrong things. But now he's crazy. Now, now he cannot say anything. Now whatever he does, they attack him left and right. You know. Now, anyways, so let's continue. Reality check, please. So my question is about what you said earlier about. Um, so, uh, look, uh, listen to this. Listen to this confused, misguided boy. Justice Kentucky Brown's uh, Jackson's qualifications for the Supreme Court and how you mentioned that uh, she was unable to uh, define what a woman is. And I'd like to compare that to um, Justice Barrett. So uh, Justice Jackson went to a public high school, attended Ivy League Law, law School, um, clerked for the Supreme Court. And, uh, you know, before he continues this, it, it brought to note to me something very interesting, right? Because the enemy really... Because he, he wants to use anybody he can to promote his agenda, including women. And you might think that women will be smart enough not to promote, some women, of course, will be smart enough not to promote the annihilation of their own gender or the, you know, the suggested or the promoted annihilation of their own gender from society, inclusion, even in, 
Yeah, you might think that, that that should be the case, right? As a normal thinking human being. But because Satan also wants to use people, right? You find that some women are the ones even promoting these things. You know. Who did Satan go to first in the garden? It was a woman, right? So I don't think that has really changed. Although he'll try to use anybody that he can, really. Although God uses people, Satan uses people too, you know. Satan copies God, so exactly what God does, Satan will try to do it, but for destruction and for evil and for, you know, damnation. But God, of course, loving, awesome, perfect, right? Doing all things great. So let, look at this, uh, This what this boy says, right? was a public defender, uh, served on the sentencing commission, was a district judge, and served on the Court of Appeals. And um, as for um, Justice Barrett, she was a Supreme Court clerk, and uh, she also sat in Court of Appeals. And when um, she was being questioned by Senate during her confirmation, she uh, was asked to, to name the freedoms of the First Amendment, which um, she struggled with. So my question is, what well, makes Justice Jack, uh, Jack uh, pardon me, uh, Justice um, Barrett more qualified than Justice Brown? So first of all, what does your shirt say? I can't see that. Trump 22, 24 years in prison. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, that's, oh boy. But we can talk about that in a second. Um, I, I was like, 16 double. I was like, are you a Trump fan? Right, so this boy can't even structure his sentence properly, okay? But let's let's even get to Charlie Kirk's uh, response to him. Or not, because it, uh, yeah, it needs to be. Um, yeah, I mean, how is, by the way, how is Katanji Brown Jackson's Ivy League credentials impressive if she got in with affirmative action? Why is that impressive? I just really have to, even though it does not really have to do with this, but it's, it is part of what the enemy promotes, you know, this uh, affirmative action thing, okay? It, I mean, it really makes no sense, okay? Look, find some people were slaves, then you get, now you want equal rights, everybody should have equal rights, of course. But if you now say, because we feel bad, quote unquote, you know, you now give more leverage to black uh, people, don't you understand that at the end of the day, that only serves to discredit them? Look at what he just said now. He said, how does her credentials matter if she got in through affirmative action? So that means even if she wasn't doing that well in school because she was black, they would accept her into an Ivy League school above a white person or an Asian person that is even doing better, you know, but that is not black. But that is not, you know, dark black skin. So this it it actually serves to to discredit. It actually serves to discredit. And by the way, Amy Coney Barrett did her entire hearing without a shred of notes in front of her. You remember that? She had nothing but a notepad, all from memory. Katanji Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people So, you know. That there was this uh, this woman, right, Katanji Brown. That's the one being discussed, right? There are two, actually. One is for the sane side. One is for the insane side. You know, so the um, Katanji Brown is the one for the insane side. So, you know, saying people can be men can be women. And she was actually asked the question that, what is a woman? Now, first of all, before I even get to what she said, that statement is incorrect. Okay, and it's, it's very annoying that they keep saying that. It's not what is a woman, it's who is a woman, okay? Not what, okay? Not a not an inanimate object, or like you say, what is a man or what is a thing? It's not what is a woman, it's who is a woman. You people should get that and understand grammar properly, for goodness sake. Anybody keeps saying what, okay? Now... Now, back to, she was asked that question, right? And she could not even respond. She could not give an adequate response because she was actually promoting the transgender um, narrative. She was promoting the transgender people. Imagine that, a woman promoting that. Imagine that. You know, it's madness. The enemy, I mean, the enemy will seek to use anyone he can. can. Satan will use anyone he can. 
to promote his evil, to promote his madness. She could not actually define that. She refused to define that. And it went viral. I mean, I mean, everybody still refers to it to today. Like, she cannot even define who a woman is. You know, like, so, and she's one of the, you know, the top lawmakers in the country, actually. Now, let's, let's continue. Yeah. Oh, determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is. Yes. Yeah, you see? You see that the boy... <laughs> even looked at because he got school definitely he, he got to learn something sure you know but the what he what he just said what charlie kirk just said now do you agree right that one of the nine people one of the top nine people who set the most important laws of our society should be able to define who a woman is and the boy of course said yes because that is you know common sense but because he has been brainwashed by media, he does not even know what common sense is. Now, so, but, you know, let's continue. Because, it, I mean, if not, if you're not working for the enemy, how, how difficult is it to understand that a woman is a adult female, an adult human female? How, I mean, how, I mean, is that, is that rocket science? Just like a man is an adult male, an adult human male. Is that, is that, is that what, is that algebra, is that, is that Newton's theory right now? Is that, I mean, is it rocket science? Satanic agenda. Yes. yes. Well. <laughs> Right. Um, oh my goodness. Well, my counter to that is that we shouldn't really be seeing the world in black and white. Yes, um, we should. And a woman is, it's more than what meets the eye for a definition. Um, no, it's not. Honestly, this boy is so stupid. Honestly, I feel bad for him because most of his generation is like this. They are, they are like this, really. They, they, they're so misled. I'm sure. It's probably what 17, 18 or something, you know. So misled. You know. Anyways, let's continue. No, we should see the world through male and female. Yeah. Why? That's the way it is, brother. Well, why? Because I live in reality, not in Narnia or some sort of weird. You hear what you said? Charlie Kirk said we should see the world in male and female. And he now said why? He literally said, why? You know, and Charlie Kirk says, because I live in reality, right? Yeah, because, yeah, because he lives in reality, because he's not a stupid, confused person, utterly misled, misguided, you know, foolish person, misguided by Satan, who hates you, by the way. So it's not like he's promoting this to help anybody. It's to cause the total destruction of our society. That is why he's... People are demon possessed. That is why some people are promoting this madness. Created academic abstract space that doesn't exist. So why shouldn't a person be socially welcome to identify with uh, gender outside of the binary? Well, anyone can pretend to be something they're not, but that doesn't make them the thing that they're not. Amen. Can I be black? No. Oh, but. Right, I mean this. I mean, I'm gonna let him finish what he has to say. But, but even the opening statement is 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 just the is the point of it, you know? Because anyone can pretend to be something they are not. It doesn't make them what they are not. I mean, and that is the fact about it. You can pretend to be a woman, doesn't make you a woman. You can pretend to be a man, doesn't make you a man. You can pretend to be a wolf, doesn't make you a wolf. You know, you can pretend to be black when you are white or white when you are black or asian when you are caucasian it doesn't make you that you can pretend to be a dog there's people that are so insane that they pretend to be dogs that is actually a real thing you know so, so you can see how mad the world is getting you know so like there's people that you know but it doesn't make you a dog you can make you can pretend to be a cat a a fowl a fish you can even go and live in the forest if you like that that's not i mean it doesn't make you 
an animal. So if you are mentally deluded, if you have a mental illness, it doesn't make you what you think you are. Why can't I socially become black? Blackface, right? I can pretend, wear camouflage, masquerade as something that I'm not, right? How's that right. different than a trans person? Race and gender are two completely separate things. They have the truth ain't nothing separate. to do with each other. And you see, I mean, what does that have to, I mean, how is that different from a trans person? There's no difference, you know, because they're both deluded. They're both, you know, they're, they're both insane, you know. And the existence of being transgender does not imply the existence of being transracial. So you can you can pretend to say that you have ovaries when you don't, but you can't put makeup on to pretend to be a black person. What transgender women are claimed to have ovaries? Uh, there's lots of men that pretend to have ovaries. In fact, the CDC guidance says right now that men can chest feed. Do you think men can chest feed? No. That is actually Satan making these laws, you know. Now, thank God for people like, uh, you know, uh, this uh, governor woman and Charlie Kirk and other people that are, you know, doing, uh, you know, things that they should to fight this madness. But you, did you hear what Charlie Kirk said? The CAC guidelines actually now says that a man can chest feed. Okay, and what they actually mean is breastfeed. Okay, they are actually they are, they are installing it into their laws. The Bible says, woe unto them that frame mischief by a law. They frame mischief by a law. They cause mischief intentionally by a law. Okay. Now, saying, obviously, a man cannot chest feed. They're, 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 they're using it to, to, I mean, cause all these insane people, both the ones that think that they're a woman or think that they're a man, you know, you are all demon possessed. You are all ill, and that's the fact about it. Oh my! That's not the sole criterion for being. So let me ask you a question: What is a woman? A woman is someone who identifies as one. Answer the question without saying the word. No. Woman. You can't say the word woman. That's that's called circular reasoning. It's like saying a tree is something that looks like a tree. So I'll ask again, what is a woman? A woman is a person who lives a lifestyle aligned with feminine characteristics, not necessarily your chromosomes. What are you doing? Girls. So so someone who just wears a dress. So what you are doing is you are reducing womanhood to a costume. <laughs> No. Um, so, are you suggesting that, like, a transgender woman goes about her day pretending to be a woman, but then when she gets home, she starts acting like a man? No, delusional in every part of life, I understand that, but that doesn't mean they're not delusional. Can, I mean, there, there's a series of mental conditions where you could pretend to be a wolf. Can you be trans species, too? Right. You know, I just love what he said that many people clap for him, right? So... He, that guy and he, and he called him out like you're trying to reduce womanhood to a costume and you can never do that because womanhood is an experience do you understand me just like manhood is an experience but womanhood is even it's a much more you know it's a much more involved experience really because you get pregnant you have to go to pregnancy you give birth you nurture the child you know even though yeah the man is with you fine but like you know there is a difference with that you know, and they're even trying to tear apart family. You know, they're also trying to tear apart family also. You know, so that, in fact, that in itself, the fact that we are the ones that carry life, that bring life into this world, is enough to be, in fact, not glorified, because only God is to be glorified, but definitely honored. Honored above all. Talk us of this bastard now trying to even take away, even, even, acknowledging womanhood because they are satanic like a, i mean it is only satan that can come up with this and try to promote this because our god is certainly not for that our god hates this you know
He said he looked down and he, he repented, he regretted that he made mad because he saw that the imagination of his heart was only evil continually because it had been taken over by Satan, it had been taken over by the enemy. He had fallen into disobedience and now all sorts of madness is coming into play. I mean, it's so, I mean, I wish I could wipe these idiotic people and Satan off the face of this planet forever, really, because all they do is cause problems. A man is a man, a woman is a woman. How difficult is that to understand? How difficult is that to understand? You better realize that it's a satanic agenda. If not, I mean, and the madness is getting worse, though. And in different ways. This is one way, right? In different ways. So better understand that the enemy is at work. Does, does your own mental condition dictate external reality, yes or no? I mean, I love this question. Does your mental condition determine external reality? I mean, so awesome. I mean, that's what Charlie Kirk is asking him, asking the boy back, right? You know, because you are insane, because you have a mental illness, does that change the reality of the world around you? You know, it does not. In case you still need to be told that you utterly misguided people. Not necessarily. Perfect. Okay, then why do you believe that a biological man can become something that he is not because he thinks it? Because gender is not interchangeable with sex. Yeah, right. So there are zero genders. There are only two sexes. Gender is a made-up term that started in the academy in the 1960s. Talking about sex, which is the only thing that actually can be proven and that matters, X, 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 Y, I will ask the question again, why is it that a man can suddenly become a dress and can be treated exactly the same as a woman that is biologically, not just biologically different, but somebody has a different brain, a different hormonal system, menstruate, have children. I'll be very honest with you. It is so unbelievably insulting to women to have men have to lecture that all it takes. I mean, and it's just the fact about it. It's just the way people started clapping, right? You know, it is unbelievably insulting to women, okay? Unbelievably insulting to think that a man can, you know, be giving lectures and says that all it takes to be a woman is to put on a dress or to, to, to wear makeup. It is unbelievably insulting. Do you understand that? And satanic. I mean, utterly deluded. Utterly deluded. Is some weird dude with testosterone can put makeup on, wear a thong and a dress, mm. and he suddenly becomes a woman. Nope. Here's at the essence of the issue, is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. I don't deny for a second that the trans person thinks that they are. Certain people think that they're younger than they are. Some people think they're taller than they are. Some people think they're richer than they are. Some people think they're innocent when they're not, like Bob Menendez. There's plenty of delusional people in this world. It's up for society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality. It is for awesome. He said what? There are plenty of delusional people in this world. But it is up to society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality okay awesome okay because yes there are a lot of delusional people there are a lot of people that are mentally insane there are a lot of people that should be in in a psychiatric homes but are being led you know led to be you know there's a lot of dysfunction there's a lot of madness yeah but you have to say no to the madness you know you can't accept the madness simply because some people think that they're mad and that's supposed to be okay and they're supposed to accept their madness you're not to accept that in any way.
us to not allow us to be reigned under the tyranny of somebody's imagination. Do you have a response? And then we'll wrap it up. I think I think this is where right here, this is where I really learned from because I mean Charlie really he spoke some sense into his head, really. Because and that's why I said I feel bad for him. I feel bad for his generation. I feel bad for people that believe this. Because they've been told something that is absolutely false. You know, and it's being reinforced in their mind. Now he can't say anything. He's just looking. And at least he has the decency to know that okay, he's wrong and he kept quiet. You know. So like the I mean, it's ridiculous. The fact that we there is even a need for this kind of debate or this kind of even um, answer, you know, question and answer is, is is a sign of the madness. It's a sign of how ridiculous the world is getting. The fact that we even need to to even discuss this right now. You know. The fact that it is even a conversation. You know. The enemy is at work and you need to you need to recognize that. There's a lot of uh, delusional people, a lot of dysfunctional people, a lot of mentally ill people. Doesn't mean that we have to accept your madness. You can be treated, you can, you know, be delivered, you know. It can be something can be treated in you, but we don't have to accept that madness. And we definitely will not accept that madness, you know. So Oh, this is sad. Did you hear what, did you hear what Dave Gibson just said? You know, this is sad, right? Because it is sad. He's just looking like a dummy right now. But at least he, at least he gets the fact. He's still young, still very young, you know. So, I mean, the, the enemy has not fully succeeded in, in, you know, infiltrating his mind, you know. So definitely some adjustments can certainly still be made. And he does, he is learning, you know, he is learning. He has been told the truth now. So, you know, by God's grace, he understands certain things and he's more wise, you know. So, and the same thing for any other person that might believe that this is acceptable. Look, I mean, do not be foolish, okay? Do not be blown every single, with a, uh, every single way, with every single wind of doctrine, like the Bible says. You just go with every uh, wind of doctrine. Anything they say, just, you know. Whether it makes sense or not, whether it, whether it is whether it is beneficial or not, whether it is biblical or not, better guard your mind, gain wisdom, say no to transgenderism, say no to this LGBTQ madness, okay, and let our society be free from tyranny. Goodbye.